One religion, if you'll pardon the expression, which has been in the news lately is Scientology, which I have to say I don't know very much about. It's not nearly as high profile here in Britain as it is in America. I don't think any celebrities are involved, uh, at least not yet. From what I can gather, it was founded by a science fiction writer, which might help to explain why they believe that human beings are burdened by entities who are part of the fallout from some ancient intergalactic genocide, and that practicing Scientology is a way to rid yourself of the influence of these entities. So pretty much your standard religious bullshit then. You're contaminated and you need to be cleansed by experts for a price. The original sin common to most religions, it seems. There's something wrong with being human. Well, well, who would have thought it? Now, some people consider Scientology to be a sinister cult. And, well, even if it is, we've never had a problem with sinister cults in the past. We've positively nurtured them and allowed them to grow into the monstrous dogmas that currently plague every aspect of life on this planet. So why are we so upset about this particular bunch of lunatics? And shouldn't people have a choice? Let's say you've got a, a taste for religious insanity, but not the mainstream kind, and you're casting around for something a little different because... You don't want to follow the crowd. What are you, a sheep? Of course not. Now you've got a cool alternative. You've got your Scientology. And although people do talk about it in negative terms, it does have positive aspects, which I think we should acknowledge. For example, they haven't initiated any mass suicides or mass murders, as far as I'm aware, and I think that's a very positive thing. However, as with all fanatical religious cults, it does have its negative side. For example, they're notoriously litigious by all accounts, which means they probably do have something to hide. And they also have a reputation for harassing people who criticize them, which is very negative if it's true. And I'm not saying it is. Not yet, anyway. Also, I have to say that if a member of my family were to join any organization that urged them to reject their family and friends and turn their back on the life they knew, I'd say that would be a very negative thing. And I think anyone prepared to do something that unnatural would be operating under a powerful negative influence. However, having said all this, I still find myself attracted to Scientology because it ends in ology and it contains most of the word science, which gives it a vague air of authority to gullible, uneducated people like myself. And if you want to know the secrets, you've got to join the gang. So, I mean, what would it cost me anyway? A few hundred, a few thousand? Okay, maybe a few hundred thousand plus my sanity, but everything in life has risks. <laughs> I'm certainly not worried about being brainwashed. I mean, are you kidding? I'm a Catholic. I've been done. I've been through the full rinse cycle, fluff dried, ironed and folded. So don't talk to me about being brainwashed. So yes, I'm keen to find out more about this religion, but unfortunately there is one small obstacle, and that is the poster boy himself, Mr. Tom Cruise. I just have such a serious problem with his movies, because he always seems to be playing somebody who's taller than he really is. And this just doesn't work for me. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, this guy's acting tall. Why is he pretending? What is he ashamed of? Being small is fine. There's nothing wrong with being small. I know lots of small people, and they're all wonderful. If Tom Cruise played small movie heroes, it would do small people's image a lot of good on this planet. But no, instead he chooses to perpetuate the illusion and reinforce the stereotype that tall is good and small is bad. If he's capable of this kind of moral dishonesty in observable life, what's he going to be like when it comes to the mysteries of life? And if he's literally not prepared to stand up for the little guy, I have to ask myself, is this the kind of person I want to be associated with? And how much can his religion really offer me? So, yes, although I'd like to find out more about Scientology, I'm afraid this guy is just in the way, and I really don't see a way past this. If he was to jump into a little space pod and disappear off this planet to pastures new, taking his ridiculous movies with him, of course, well, then I might be inclined to examine Scientology a bit more closely. But until then, I'm afraid it'll have to remain a big, fat mystery to me. Oh, well, you can't win them all. Nanu, nanu.